let it develop there. In the last video, I have soldered pins into those uh, STM32 modules. Uh, if you are interested, check out for my channel videos. In this episode, we are going to compare those microcontrollers. It should be a huge difference between them because this one has Cortex uh, M3 family processor and this one has a Cortex M4. To start with, let's compare the boards. Both of them have uh, SWD port and uh, USB ports, the, but the F4 one has the USB Type-C port and F1 has micro USB port. The F1 module has jumpers settings uh, and you have to configure, configure them between flash and system modes. Uh, also it has a SD RAM mode but uh, my clone uh, port does not seems does not work in this mode. On the other hand, this F4 module is far more convenient. You can write and run your firmware without messing with those jumpers. It has very handy little buttons. It is also a Chinese clone of the board named We Act Black Pill. Let's move to their specs and check them out. I will add uh, some of my other microcontrollers so we can compare with other classes of controllers. And those two are my STM32 boards. ESP32 module with a little screen and uh, this is the controller on board which is well known uh, as Arduino Nano board and uh, a tiny 13 uh, chip which is a very tiny chip you can use for your things as you can see in this table, uh, there is some difference on CPU frequency and uh, of course uh, the fast, fastest CPU is the ESP32. It has 4 MB of flash RAM, so you can use almost any uh, software, <laughs> not actual any but uh, you can use uh, any uh, microcontroller framework you want and uh, while if you let's say you take a tiny 14 it has only one kilobyte of flash ram and uh, you cannot do too much with uh, because it's, it's uh, not too much of RAM. If you compare those STM32 modules, this uh, black pill uh, board has eight times more uh, flash uh, size compared to F1 uh, board, and it has uh, roughly six times more RAM. While well, of course it is more expensive compared to previous boards but funny thing that uh, if you compare F1 module and Arduino F1 module has way more of the resources compared to Arduino and cost uh, cost you less that's the funny thing it has uh, 12 bits ADC so you can uh, use uh, the potentiometer and uh, read more precise values and uh, you can measure voltage more precisely because of uh, 12 bits ADC but uh, one drawback the STM board does not have EEPROM 
uh, memory but I think it's, uh, it can be solved using external modules that's not a problem same for uh, F4 series but uh, yeah of course you can uh, compare the specs also I have tried uh, these two boards and uh, F4 board is roughly two times faster than F1, F1 board I have already shown you how to firmware the F1 module in one of the previous video and uh, how to firmware this uh, ESP32 module you can watch them on my channel uh, what about this F4 module recently platform IO have added uh, support for this uh, uh, React Black Pill boards so now we can work with it very easily we will play around with it in future videos so don't forget to like and subscribe